Here's my Experimental Airlines Delta Wing that I've made. Uh, following the plan just exactly as it has them online. The motor is a Hobby King 2826, 2200 RPM. Props a 6x4, um, puts out about 330 watts of the free cell. Uh, I used to have a 5x5 five five on there, it flew just fine. It's a little more fun with a 6.4 because uh, the 5x5 five five is only about 175 watts. So the ESC, uh, it's a 25 amp uh, with 30 amp burst. Seems to be okay, doesn't get too hot. I had that on there for a couple of hours of flights now. I haven't had any problems. So I'll probably recommend going with a 40 amp if you've got one. Uh, and then servos, I just have a couple of, one of them is a Hobby King servo. One of them is from Heads Up RC. They don't exactly have the same uh, servo throws, so I mixed in my radio to make sure that uh, each one, uh, you know, they move together. Full up is the same on one as it is on the other, so I just set the limits. Um, probably should have used matching servos, would have made it a little easier. Um, I do have a setup with dual rates, so as you can see in the video for takeoffs, it was, you know, pitches around quite a bit with a torque roll. So I um, take off with the high rates, and then once it's up and flying, I like to use the dual or the low rates. Um, make it a little more smooth. Uh, then for landing, to switch back to the, the high rates. Um, that's basically it. Uh, I think you guys have seen the landing skid I put on there. I haven't broken a prop since. Love it. Um, might go with a you know, 6 by 5.5 or so as a, an upgrade, but to do that i got to put a bigger ESC on. Um, and it's got plenty of power as it is, as you guys saw in the video. You know, straight up, straight down, whatever you want. Uh, batteries. This one here is 1,000. To fly about three minutes on a thousand. You can. I have a 1800. I fly it in there. Um, again, you can go about five minutes on that, but I haven't put a 2200 in it because I'm a little scared of the takeoff. So I usually just fly it short, fly it fast, and land and stuff up the battery. I wanted to mention a little bit about takeoffs. Um, the 2200 kV motor takeoffs are a lot more difficult than I used to have um, a 1550 on here with a bigger prop, so I have a 1550 around a 7 or 8 inch prop. There you just basically give it full power, just give it a little flick straight up and it would just go straight up. Um, not quite as much thrust with the 2200. As you saw in the video, I kind of had to throw it and throw it so that it was leaning to the right. Uh, and then by the time I got my hand down on the, on the sticks, it would be back to the left. It's not nearly as easy to take off, uh, I think, because of the smaller prop. So if this is your first time building this, I would recommend that you use something smaller than a 2200 kV motor, um, maybe something in the 1500 range, I think that's what I'd recommend it, and, and use a 8-inch uh, you know, prop, um, just simply because it, it flew almost as fast, it's a good way to learn, and it uh, was a lot easier to launch. Um, I had, uh, you see I had to stiffen these, had to make a stiffening video because I switched to this motor, um, and had a lot of nose ins, so something to think about.